So do you really need a master's degree to be successful as an electrical engineer? Maybe you already gotten your bachelor's or maybe you're still in college and you're wondering, do you have to finish your bachelor's and go straight to your master's or do you not need it? So today we're gonna find out. Hello everybody, my name is Joe Dobbini and I am an electrical engineer here stationed in Maryland. And this is my perspective from everything I've learned working in the field. So you'll talk to a bunch of different engineers and a lot of them will recommend, hey, you know, it doesn't hurt to get a master's degree. But in reality, in my opinion, you don't have to, right? There's plenty and plenty of people who end up making over $200,000 a year as an electrical engineer and they never went out their way to go back to school and get a master's degree. But a master's degree can be beneficial in various cases. For example, if you're interested in doing research and development work, you might need a master's degree for companies to put more trust in you to be in that area quicker out of college. If you're finding value in this video, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button and let me know in the comment section down below, did, do you think you needed a master's degree or do you think other people need a master's degree to be successful as an electrical engineer? And additionally, a lot of these senior positions that are involved, that involve research and development Minimum requirements is usually they ask for masters or a PhD because they know you've gotten into a deep understanding of whatever they need and may, now they can trust you with that position. And by you getting your master's degree, it might give you an edge over other people who only got their bachelor's degree because now you have an insight that a lot of people might not have. So it might give you leverage in the corporate world or on the marketplace. So it depends on your subfield. So ultimately whether you want a master's degree or you don't. It depends on where do you want to be in your career and does it align with your career goals? There's many of electrical engineering subfields that you can be a part of and you have to be sure that, hey, if you're trying to develop new technologies, do, do a lot of those engineers have a master's degree or are you just trying to be a test engineer and work on things that you don't have to do in-depth development on. And a lot of people who are in those areas, some don't even have degrees, some have bachelor's degree, but it's something that doesn't require a lot of in-depth background knowledge to complete. But out of everything I've said so far, ultimately experience is king. Regardless if you have your master's degree or PhD or whether you have either of those top level degrees, your experience can outshine someone who has a master's or a PhD because there's some jobs or projects that you may have worked on that maybe a few people in the world will ever be a part of. And that gives you just that edge over other people. Let's say another company is gonna try to mimic what you were part of at a different company, but they can't find people who have that experience, but you have that experience. Now you're they will leverage you over somebody who comes out of pit, brand new out of PhD because he has to start from scratch, but you've already gone through it. So experience is always king and people always respect and give the best positions to those who know what they're doing. And the way companies know you know what you're doing is because of your previous experience and projects. And you have to remember, a degree doesn't make you better. There's a lot of people who believe that if they have a, a, a better degree than other people, it makes them smarter than them. In reality, as an engineer, if you got the better experience, you're the better engineer because ultimately you've gone through something that that person hasn't and now you can get valuable insight at a quicker pace than somebody who has to start from scratch and companies care about money and time and if you can save them time, they'll pick you over somebody who has to relearn everything you've learned. So ultimately, do you need a master's degree? It's up to you and where you wanna be in your career where you wanna be at the end of your career, do you wanna do research or development, or do you wanna do other things that don't require in-depth learning? And a lot of times through your experience through the years, you'll get good enough to where maybe you won't even need a master's degree and somebody can look at your resume and know that this guy, this guy is intelligent. So thank you guys for watching and Jadavani is out.